Hello, I'm Richard Weber here at Springhouse Gardens and it feels like summer. So it's a good time to be thinking about spring flowers. So these are spring annuals. A lot of times we'll call them summer annuals. These are things that you put out, you plant once a year. Uh, they complete their life cycle in a year. That's why they're called an annual, but you do have to plant them every year. Um, so this is our favorite time of the year because we get all these different colors that you get to plant every single year. And if you don't like something one year, you change it out. You don't have to, it's not a huge commitment. You don't have to decide, oh, I'm, I want this color for the rest of my life. So annuals are fun for that purpose. And you're not gonna get any more color out of a plant than with an annual plant. These guys are basically, you plant them in the spring and they'll flower until frost. So you get six months of color. So they are the biggest bang for your buck. Yes, you have to buy them. You buy one, two, 10 or 20, and you do have to plant them every year, but look at the color that you get. One of our favorite annuals here at Springhouse Gardens, this is called Lantana. And one of the things that I like about Lantana is that they can take hot, dry, sunny conditions. So if you've got a spot in your garden or a flower pot or a deck planter, you might want to try some lantana. These are butterfly and pollinator magnets, and they come in every color in the rainbow. I mean, look at this one, it's called bandana peach. It's just a beautiful blend of colors. Most lantanas that we sell are actually blends of color. Look at this one. This is called hot-blooded red, but it's not really just red. It's also um, orange. It's also some yellow, but you get all of these colors um, in one flower, which is really, really cool. And they come in so many different blends of colors um, and with, with lots of fun names. Bandana, Bandolero, um, this one is called Bandana Peach. So lots of fun colors that you can get in Lantana. Most of these are gonna get anywhere from about eight to 10 inches tall. Some of them are bred to be bigger. They might get 15 to 18 inches tall and every bit is that of, the, of that wide. So come and look at our selection of Lantanas. Another one of our favorites, and I'm gonna give you just a quick lesson in begonias. Um, begonias, there's been a tremendous amount of plant breeding in begonias, but basically I can sum it all up in, with two types. There's a bronze leaf begonia and a green leaf begonia and all sorts of different things in between. But these are your traditional old fashioned bedding type plants that have been bred and they're almost always gonna be in pinks, reds, whites, and deep pinks or roses. If you have a sunny spot, typically people recommend the bronze leaf. These are the ones that have kind of the brownish leaf. They'll adjust more quickly to, to sunny conditions. I don't prefer the bronze leaf as much as I like the green leaf. The green leaves have been bred to be more in the shade, but they can adjust perfectly to the full sun conditions too. So typically I'll use the green leaf and let them adjust. And you have a little bit more color in the leaf than with the bronze leaf. Come out and see us if you have any questions. We've got lots of annual flowers and we will for the next month or so. So come and see us here at 185 West Catnip Hill Road at Springhouse Gardens in Nicholasville. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Until next time.